Hi, this is one from Decay Sams and welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be showing you how to make a green screen in Minecraft. First off, what is a green screen? Well, it's a special type of screen that's completely one color, usually green. And then what you can do with that is replace that background color with transparency. So you can place the foreground, for example, your Minecraft character, into any other background. That's how I did the intro and outro of my Building a Spaceship in Minecraft Classic video. I will show you how to do it later on. Now, let's get into the tutorial. So, there's two possible ways of making a green screen. The first way is by using maps. So, you first, you get a map and then activate it anywhere you like. For example, here. And then you fill the 128 by 128 block space on the map with only one type of block. For me, I'm going to use green concrete because it's a green screen. So I'm going to find one of the corners. So I'll need to head over here. I've now found the corner of the map. So you see on the bottom left corner, you can see there's a purple dot on there. So now what I do is use the fill command. And I'm using relative coordinates. So I stay on this block and go up a bit. And then type in slash fill. And then I say 127 because it's positive x and then negative 127 because that's negative z and fill it in with green concrete and then you update the map and voila you now have a map that's completely one color once I've cleared out these remaining bits here. Now the map's completely one color, as you see here. Next, you create an infinity room, a room that was invented by Green. You first create a room out of a light emitting block, for example, this room light. And you can make it as big as you want. And there you have the room. Next, you start putting item frames on the walls. On the doorway, you put in a fence, then open it, and even though it's open and you can go through it, you can actually put, still put an item frame on it if you shift and then put it down. Once the item frames are in place, you start putting the maps you've made on the wall. 
and even in this small section you're starting to see the effects now. Now it's done and you're left with an infinity room, a void that removes your sense of direction, but it's also green screen. However, the infinity room does have a flaw. Because it uses maps and item frames, you can't make a room too big or else you'll notice some frame rate issues due to too many entities. Each block on the wall will contain two entities. However, there's another way of making a green screen that doesn't use any entities. That's the use of opaque glass. Glass in Minecraft is a transparent block. That means it lets light through. However, transparency isn't dependent on the visual state of a block. It's more considered a block state that you can't change with a debug stick. It refers to things that you see in those hashtags on the targeted block. So like things like Enderman Holdable or Bamboo Plantable, Flammable, etc. Keeping this in mind, what you can do is change the texture of a glass block to make it opaque and the light should still pass through the block because the game will think it's still a transparent block. I've already gone ahead and changed the texture of the stained glass blocks and I'm going to set up a much larger room. Let's make it a 32 by 32 by 32 room. Boom. Now, when I go inside, you can see that the light is still getting through the block, even though the glass is fully opaque. However, unlike the infinity room, as you can see, each side has a different shade on it. I don't think this is a huge issue, because each side is one solid colour. Once you've made some footage in these rooms, it's time to remove the background and I'm now going to show you how to do it using some video editing software. Let's get into it. Welcome to HitFilm Express. This is what I use to edit my videos because it's free and very good. And I can use this video editor to display my character on another background and I'll show you how to do it. First off, you'll need another background. It can be anything you like, but for me, I'm going to use this picture of my stadium. I'm going to put it in the Video 1 timeline. Now, for the green screen footage, you put it in the Video 2 timeline. Anything in this timeline will be layered on top of Video 1. Next you go into the effects tab and in the keying category you select the hue and RGB key. As you can see this effect is already taking effect but on the wrong thing in the picture. That's because the effect is removing everything in the red hue region. To remove the green background you'll need to click and hold the icon next to the red box and let go when it's on the green background. That's better. You can see that the different shades of green aren't an issue because they have the same hue. However, it's not perfect. You can see that parts of my character have disappeared 
because those parts are green. To fix this, you can either lower the tolerance like that, or you could re-record the whole thing but with a different color screen. The infinity room footage though worked a lot better because it's a different shade of green. And also you're able to use RGB mode because it's one color. RGB mode removes colors within an RGB region instead of a hue region. RGB includes shades, while hues ignore them. That's it for this video. If you've enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. See ya!